Chit of Headlines here to show you how to handle double focus adapters. Double focus is the unfriendliest path to start anamorphic shooting. And I mean start something that's already hard, shooting anamorphic, through the hardest possible way, double focus, just makes the whole experience hateful. So even though I hate double focus, I can't just turn to you and say, well you should just buy an Escorama or a Rectolux. So here's some tips of how to manage double focus on the fly. Double focus means that both your anamorphic and your taking lens have to be focused at the same distance to produce a sharp image at the camera sensor. That can be a real challenge when you boil it down to the centimeter because any mismatch will downgrade image quality considerably. My aim here is the target in the middle. Each lens is set to a different distance. As a first step, I'll take a guess at the distance to the target and quickly set both lenses to that. Next, I'll adjust the taking lens to make the image as sharp as I can. This will produce a streaked image on the viewfinder, either vertically or horizontally. Now, tweak the anamorphic with the goal of shrinking these streaks and getting the image sharper. At some point, they'll change direction. When that happens, go back to your taking lens and tweak a little more. Adjust it back and forth in order to fix this new stretch. Repeat the process switching back and forth until the streaks are reduced to dots. Boom! Focused! After you get the hang of it, you'll be able to use both hands and adjust both focus rings simultaneously. The key is finding the direction that the image is streaking and counter that with both the anamorphic and the taking lens. The order of operations though, if the anamorphic comes first or the taking lens comes first, doesn't matter much. You can start with any as long as you feel comfortable with it. When you get rid of all the streaking, you'll have a sharp, as sharp as possible focused image. There's lots and lots of practice involved. I mean, I've been doing this for over five years. But the difference now is that you have a goal. Having that goal that normalizing the streaks is what's gonna save you time from going way past your marks and hunting for focus with both lenses, pretty much like a mirrorless camera. Now it's up to you to put it to practice. And since we're on the subject of double focus, do you have any hints for other double focus users out there? Write them in the comments below, please. I would love to know more. Don't forget to subscribe and to check the previous videos. I'm Chutu Fedans and I'll see you next time.